Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Thursday, July 2nd, 2015, and let's get to it. RX Muscle's Johnny Styles was live in attendance this past weekend to cover the NPC South Jersey Championships, where fans in attendance got a chance to see the Dominican Dominator, Victor Martinez, take the stage. With 12 weeks left to go before he returns to the Olympia stage, Martinez appears to be right on track to deliver another classic Victor Martinez performance on bodybuilding's biggest stage. Although he may never reach his 2007 Olympia look again, Victor is still plenty dangerous and capable of pulling off a top six performance. Just wait and see. Just in case you've doubted the wondrous powers of the enigmatic Michael Lockett, wait until you get a load of what he's been up to and what he's been able to pull off with 13 days, yes, 13 days of contest prep for the upcoming Chicago Pro. After a very impressive pro debut, where he finished second at the Orlando Europa earlier this year, Lockett has managed to pack on even more lean muscle while continuing to tighten things up. Lockett could very well be the most genetically gifted athlete in the sport, and if he pulls off a win in Chicago, it'll just add another chapter in the already epic story in the life of Michael Lockett. It's been a while since we've heard the name Breon Ansley kicked around bodybuilding circles. The former NPC USA middleweight champion actually competed twice last year during his rookie season, but struggled to get into contest condition and found himself sliding to the end of the pack. But recently, Ansley has been spotted in the gym putting in some hardcore training, gearing up for a possible run to the stage towards the end of the contest season. From a structural standpoint, Ansley already checks all the boxes, but in order for him to be more than just another number on the stage, he needs to add some more overall thickness and take the stage with the conditioning we all know he's capable of. We're about two weeks away from kicking things off at the Canadian National Championships, and it looks like light heavyweight frontrunner Mohamed El Dara is ready for war. Eldora has been kicking around the top of the Canadian national scene for the last few years, but after suffering a series of devastating burns that nearly derailed his progress late last year, he appears to be locked, loaded, and ready to unleash his fury on the competition. Eldora already has plenty of muscle to get the job done, but if he wants to earn that IFBB Pro card, he'll need to avoid last year's mistakes and hit the stage hard, dry, and ready for battle. Just a few weeks into his first official contest prep as the reigning Mr. Physique Olympia, Jeremy Buendia looks like he's still training with something to prove. Earlier this week, Buendia released a few candid photos showing flashes of the physique that everyone else in the men's physique division is chasing after. After laying low and staying away from the stage throughout the entirety of the contest season, Fans and competitors alike are curious to see whether or not the strategy will reap the sort of dividends that Buendia is banking on, or if the game of championship musical chairs will continue in the men's physique division as another athlete swoops in to claim the title. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.